guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing the like episode 2 of my books I love series. So a few weeks ago or like maybe a month ago, I'm not sure, I made a video that was just talking about some books I love that I don't really talk about enough and I like wanted like an excuse and like a little series where I can just talk about books but it not be like specific genre recommendations. So today I have another five books here that I just really love or that mean a lot to me in some sense and yeah, let's jump right into it. So first up here, I have a manga and I actually got a comment recently that was like, you're wasting my time talking about like cat mangas and I'm like hmm I totally care. This is Cheese Sweet Home Volume 1. I want to talk about this because this brings me so much joy and it will for so many other cat lovers and it's literally in full color and it's a manga and it's the cutest thing and it's just the story of this kitten and the fan like his little adventures and um him finding a home and like how he kind of like like there's chaos in the house with the little kitten obviously and it's just a very very cute story and I love it so much. Next here I have one that I haven't talked about in a while but that is Made You Up by Francesca Zappia. You probably have heard of this author because of Eliza and Her Monsters which is also a book that I've loved but this is personally my favorite by her. So I read this a few years ago when it came out and I loved it so much. Basically this follows our main character who is in high school and she is has been diagnosed with schizophrenia and it's been like that for a while and in her past she was at a grocery store if I remember correctly and she meets this guy when she's like a little kid and she calls him blue and then or I think I think it was blue I don't remember maybe I'm thinking of Love Simon I don't know maybe I'm thinking of Simon <laughs> but she thinks like she's told that he didn't exist and she believes that he didn't exist and because of her hallucinations like her visual hallucinations she has to take photos of like everything to make sure and then go look at her phone to make sure it was actually there so it's like a very interesting perspective and a really different look on a teenager um with this disorder but with the guy that she thought wasn't real he she walks into our class one day and turns out he's real and she thought she made him up so it's like made you up anyways this book is really good and i love it so much it has one of the most Best, like it has one of the best endings for like mental health novels that I've read before and I just love the characters and the themes and overall just the story is so good and deserves so much more hype. Next I have kind of like a little one that like some of you guys aren't really going to care about but like I thought I'd mention it. So this is The Little Book of Witchcraft. Um, I, there's no author name on it so I don't know who it's by. This is just a little book introducing witchy stuff. Wicca? It, so it introduces like um like it goes through like the history, um, tools, crystals, signs, symbols, um, magical days, times, magic, spells, rituals, the whole shebang. It goes through all of it. It's like a little introduction. It's very cute. I love it so much. I read this for Cramathon recently and it's just like the perfect little guide um, to witchy stuff. And I loved it a lot. And I think it's a great beginner's guide. If any of you guys are interested in this sort of stuff, check it out. Or if you're just curious about the topic, check it out. Next up here, no surprise, I have Warcross by Mary Lou, which I also have like two more copies of over here, because I have a problem. But this book is about our main character, Amika, and she is a hacker and she's really good at it. And one day she hacks herself into this virtual reality game called Warcross that is huge all over the world. And she hacks herself into the game and she's like, oh shit like you literally hacked yourself right into the game like she got through one of the biggest games in the world and she managed to get like right in the, the center of it. I expect her to be in a lot of trouble but she later gets contacted by the owner of the game and he asks her to like work for him and it's about her adventures and like the game and her hacking and her relationship and it's just so good. It is like my favorite sci-fi thing ever and I love it so much. The characters are so good. The writing is so good and it is so easy to picture. It is like amazing. I love it so much. Anyways, up here I have Misery by Stephen King, which this, this is about um, an author named Paul Sheldon who gets taken by a fan who, her name's, what was it? Amy? Annie. Her name's Annie. She's um, interesting and let's just say a lot of torture happens and she basically 
manipulates him and like threatens him to finish a book in a series and it's basically Paul Sheldon in captivity with this chick like controlling him and like making sure he doesn't do anything and making sure he doesn't escape and it's a lot about um it's very intense and brutal so just keep that in mind but Paul Sheldon is just you see him as like writing is such this huge escape form when he really needs it and that's something I really liked about this book and the writing is great it's just very thrilling and it's pretty short for a king so yes check this one out there you guys have it these are the this that the other ones on this this one's not showing the spine it's fine uh these are the books that i want to talk about today i try to like keep like a variety in here so like we got adult we got ya fantasy we got nonfiction, <laughs> we got ya contemporary we got manga so i'm just trying to keep it a variety but yes these are five books that I really love personally and that I'd recommend checking out. So let me know how you like this series down below. I'm very excited to make more of these because you guys requested more of them when I did my first part and I think it's very fun. So I'll see you guys all super soon with a new video. Bye.